So it is that day. Odyssey have now revealed their two new putter lines. Now, in previous years, they've had several different lines that come out each year. This is slimlined their offering to AI1 and AI Mill. Now, I have tested these, Josh, and I'm going to say right now, they are very, very impressive. Now, in this video, we're going to go through the tech, what it means, and Josh has got a whole host of questions that club golfers have asked about these putters that we're going to go through. Yes. Can we, before we go into all that, though, can we talk through some of the stats on Odyssey? Because yeah. I think this is mightily impressive. So, in 2023, mm -hmm. they had eight majors won in 2023. Yeah. They had 13, they'd been 13 years the number one putter on tour. They've had 20 years as the number one putter on Champions, DP, and LPGA tours. And Odyssey wins since the year 2000 is up at 1,820. I'm counting. It could be more than this now. Yes. So I don't know what they were, don't know what the players when, were using the weekend. Exactly. In fact, Callum Mackey, I think I'm saying they're probably butchering his name, the guy who won on the DP yep. World Tour, yep. was using an Odyssey 2 ball. So he you can have at least one more to that. And for those of you that are going to get in the comments and say, well, it's not eight, eight major in 2021. It's the ladies. Because <laughs> the go. first thing I thought is someone's going to comment that. Now, so. let's go through the tech. So the tech is essentially um, that we've seen it in the past. In about 2019, I think the Epic Flash came out driver. And this was an AI face. So essentially, a supercomputer with its algorithms and all the technology created a face where if you looked at the back of it, it was all like in, out and different thicknesses across the face. Because the, basically the supercomputer AI says that in order to have a faster ball speed across the face, we need variable thickness. Now, I have never seen this in a putter before until now. Essentially, what AI have done with AI1 and AI milled is that they have created a face that has variable thickness from heel to toe and top edge to bottom edge where you're going to get more efficient ball speed or more consistent ball speed across the face. So on off-center hits, they don't go half a mile an hour slower and come up short. Yep. And on, on on the toe side and heel side, that doesn't happen, even, even top and bottom. So essentially, they're saying you're going to hit it up to about 21% yep, closer, closer on average. Um, so and you're telling me that if I toe it... Yeah, the chance of it going close to the hole are gr now greater with this putter. Yeah, in layman's terms, one hundred percent. Now, where, one, do I, where do I buy one? <laughs> sign me up. <laughs> now, like I said, there were two options: the AI one, which yep. is sort of the blue colorway with a white face, and yep. then you've got AI milled, which the milled looks lovely, the, the sort of bronzy yep. color, yep. and there's no detail difference on the head covers as well, so that sort of slightly changes. And um, but one thing I I, I would say is. I want to try them, Josh. They didn't feel too different. What the the two types yeah. of the different I, types? Like if you didn't tell me, like apart from the color, like I couldn't really tell you what difference it was. That's interesting, isn't it? It's interesting to to you, you thought that you of all people being yeah. more of a with golf would be able to notice a difference that maybe I wouldn't as a as a club golfer. But it, so that to me, I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. Is it a bad thing in that should one be better or or is it a price good thing difference that they don't feel different? Well, I guess you could look at it either way, <laughs> yes. right? You could look at it as well. Why is it more expensive? Um, or actually, their their cheaper offering is just really good. Yeah. So like, I'm assuming that the mill face is the more expensive exactly option that. for exactly it. Exactly that. But that still has and the AI technology. Yeah. Okay. Now, what I do like is, and you're noticing on the videos that I've shown you, is the window on the back. So yes. all AI one models have a little window where you can see the tech. Yeah. Now I was like, well, I'm a bit disappointed because I want that on the mill. Yeah. And that's really yep. cool. You can see the different face thicknesses. You can see the technology that is helping me put better. Yeah. And I think whilst we, we'll look at some more stats from John Rahm's data, because obviously we all put like John Rahm or we all want to put like John Rahm. Do we? Um, the first thing I want to say about them, having seen them is, they look incredible. So, so uh, you like the colour? The colour, yeah. So there's this blue colourway and with the the white on the shaft and the white and blue hat, uh, grip. I know people change the grips, but yeah. I think they've smashed it with that. I think it looks brilliant. I think the deep blue is different as well. Honestly, yeah. it was not something that I would go for. Like I've used a black putter. Yeah. I've used a silver putter before. Um, I've not really ever thought of 
buying a blue, but I tell you what, the blue with a white ball and then the grass, green yeah. grass, it's a great, great contrast. Yeah, and I think the the visual is just as important as how For sure. the ball comes off the face. Like I changed to an OC putter earlier this year and from a confidence point of view, putting is a confidence game, my my confidence went up with that putter. Because so. you're using a stroke lab, aren't you? With yeah. the red and the silver shaft. Yeah, exactly. So interestingly, you saw the shafts on these. Yeah all the shaft is now all the same color yep that technology is still present but in the shaft ah okay yeah so the key they've still kept that tech they've not got rid of it yeah no I, it's weird this because i don't know what your feedback is on this like i like the fact that you could see the different colors because yeah. they've had it in the black and the silver yeah. and then the red, red and the silver yeah and um, i like the difference mm -hmm. and the feedback was that apparently club golfers didn't i don't know what you think really to be honest i hadn't thought about it I hadn't, there you go. but, in, but <laughs> I guess that's a good thing in that I don't look down at it and think that's strange because yeah. that's got to be a look thing, uh, uh, this, how this looks more than anything. It's not going to affect the feel of the club. So if people are looking down at it thinking they don't like it, my honest feedback would be I look down at it and I don't even notice it. Yeah. I don't I, notice I, any, any I change. I guess what you're saying. So it's, it's fine for me. I'm yeah. happy with it. I like the look of the putter. So I, but equally saying that, having seen these putters, they also look amazing. Yeah. So which one takes your eye then? Go on. You, so, you got the list there. So yeah. So the I, models are going to be sem same as, as previous years. Yeah. And you've got to think of the milled as the Toulon design. Yeah. That is no longer present. So right, okay. the milled is like they're really high end. And the yeah. names that we saw in the Toulon design are going to then sort of be similar in the names or look the same, but have a slightly different name in the AI milled collection. But go on, Josh, which one catches your eye here? So I'm currently using the the wide. One wide. One, yeah. And I would do the same, but not the, I wouldn't, I, I would want the AI with the window. With the window. Only because I don't think that I need A, to be spending yeah. for a milled face. B, I'm using that now. So if the putter that I've got now with more tech in it, so it's a putter that I'm comfortable looking at because they've not changed any other than the window, the the visual of it the to face. me looks the same. So without anything else changing, that to me says instantly my game from a putting perspective should improve purely because of the tech. Everyone I'm, will help apart from you, Josh. <laughs> you're unhelpable <laughs> but do you know what I mean yeah I know I'm mean. comfortable with what I have now yeah. so if you add tech to that yeah I'm just going to see the benefits of that tech it's the same putter 100%. same putter it's not yeah. but do you know what I mean so to my eye it is so that's what I would go with and it looks cool with the window I like the window go on Josh so find me some questions that um, a few of the uh, club golfers have asked yeah so the first thing I would say is we as a club golfer mm -hmm. and the data shows here um, that okay, John, give us John Ram's data. Yeah, then. so John Ram's data. So previously, yeah. it was calculated that the number of two puts made was 110, and the estimated number of three puts was 23. Now, with the AI technology, the calculated number of two of second puts made was 121, so that's gone up, and the estimated number of three puts with AI was down to 12. So now, as a club golfer, obviously that's going to help my score. But if we're talking off-center hits and things like that, I think that's most important to understand. So if I tow a putter now, mm -hmm. what should I expect to see? And what would I, should I not see? Okay, so essentially, if you, on a, on a driver, you're going to see a lot of curve. Yep. With a putter, you're not going to see that curve. All you're going to see is very, very poor pace control. Okay. So like what a lot of people look at putting is where did I hit it left to right? As if you look at the hole, I'm going straight at the camera. Did I miss it left? Did I miss it right? Not a lot of us think of it as front to back, yeah. which is a really big thing. And actually, if you're better front to back, you're going to have a better chance statistically of making less three puts. Yeah. Don't matter if you're a little bit left or right, but if I hit it better front to back, so my pace control is better. So essentially, if you hit it off the heel, or hit it off the toe, you'll see the ball come up dramatically shorter. Now, putter tech's improved over the years, and a lot more putters are better. Basically, it's called MOI, moment of inertia, how yep. forgiving a putter is. Um, now, with this, obviously, the tech is that it's going to be better. Mm -hmm. um, so essentially, what you'd expect on this putter is it for not to come up as short as it did previously. So therefore, your front to back has gone from, let's say, it's this wide, to this wide. Yeah. 21% better. Okay. So in essence, you're there, you're talking about basically saying, again, in layman's terms as an amateur golfer, I should hit that dustbin lid more often than not. 
because of this tech. Yeah. Which is what we all want to do, really. If you can have more two ports, less three ports, yeah, happy days. Definitely. The other thing I would ask and it would be, so I am currently using the port that I've got. Mm -hmm. You can then get a mallet putter. Yeah. So what's the idea? So, so that people understand now without the AI technology, the idea in a mallet putter, why is it a weight thing? Is that something that people would... So think about it slightly differently. Like obviously mallet to blade, that, 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 that will be a difference. Yeah. And essentially the smaller the head is, like use a one wide, so yeah. yours is borderline, yeah. sort of a halfway house. So think about it this way. So a blade is a lot harder because it's a smaller smaller club there's less mass back of the head so yeah. your moment of inertia it tends to be smaller so how much twisting how much movement there is and right. how forgiveness how much more forgiveness it's got but think about it this way i think golfers should be looking at it more of does face balance put a suit me yeah or does a toe hang put a suit me okay. that'd be the way i'd think about yeah. it like obviously mallet and blade come into it because now you can get these long double necks on yeah. a blade style putter which make them more sort of um, let's say straight back, straight through, more mm -hmm. face balanced, and that is possible. Other brands have done that, um, but yeah, I think about it more of in the sense of toe hang to face balance. That's what I think, and I do you know what I love. I love that Rossi, the Rosie, yeah. the, the 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 one that John Ram's John using. Ram's it looks it. so sick. It does the, honestly, like oh my god. And I think they only do that in the AI one. Yes, yeah. They don't do they don't that do the in milk the face. AI milled, which again I thought was a bit of a strange one because that surely, from an Odyssey perspective, is going to be like a bestseller for them. Yeah, you'd think so. And the one thing I do like about what they've done is they've incorporated all this tech, but they haven't changed the way the putters look. Well, it's the face, isn't it? And yeah. that's the best thing about it. The color slightly changed and the face. Yeah. Now, if you want the full review of this, head over to How Good Golf. This is the latest review channel where we're getting to actually test and hit these clubs. The link to that channel is down below, so do go and check that out. Last question for you. Barry. Obviously, me as a club golfer, I've said my opinion on what I would do with a putter, but what difference would that milled face make to me? Now, I know we're talking Odyssey, but we you, you see everyone with a Scotty Cameron and they've got a mm. milled face famous for it. Yeah, yeah. What difference would that make? What, what, why? I guess the honest answer to that is it's feel. Okay. So a milled face has a higher precision mm -hmm. in terms of its process of the way it's made. Um, honestly, I, I look at it as down to feel. Mill yep. tends to be a little bit softer, I would say. That idea of the fact that it's a bit more, not handcrafted, but it's gone through a different process in order to be... I guess you look at Scotty Cameron point of view, right? It's a mill putter. It says it's more consistent and better quality because it is milled as opposed to cast. Cast is just hitting and putting a mold, cast, boom, taken out. Oh, it's a piece so of the, metal. Yeah, so yeah. the precision is slightly different. So I would look at it as milled would be a feel and potentially it's going to be slightly more consistent, better. The better process yeah. behind it, I guess. Yeah, because because I guess what you're doing there is you're with their, with their AI technology, they're taking the AI adding it to the milled, which is all already giving you better strikes because it's milled. Yeah. So then instantly you should see even more improvement as it yeah. were, in a sense. But honestly, I, I would say it's just personal down preference. to personal preference. And, and down that, to I would agree. It's, you've got to be confident over it. And I guess that's the important of a fitting. Yeah, 100%. Like, definitely, if you're thinking about getting a new putter, go for a fitting, wherever that would be. But these would be some putters that I would strongly recommend. What Josh has done is a great idea. Going down the route of, if money was no object, I would go down the route of the same putter with a better face, which means it's familiar, but it's just going to go close every time. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's breaking news story here on Bat9 Films. Bit of tech for you this week, but definitely an interesting one for you to think about.